Today we're taking a look at a very rugged, very masculine integrated bracelet watch from Alpina. It's called the Alpina Extreme and it gets 200 meters of water resistance, which I think is very rare for an integrated bracelet sports watch. This is not a dive watch. This is a sports watch. It gets an automatic movement and a very angular case, which is kind of interesting, may not be for everyone, but it definitely is a very interesting looking watch that I think is pretty attractive. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the Alpina Alpiner Extreme. So this is the Alpina Extreme. It's from Alpina and of course it is an integrated bracelet watch. Very popular these days, oh, but this has been around for a little while and it has a very rugged build. This gets 200 meters of water resistance, which is not common for an integrated bracelet watch. So this is really a sort of sports watch in the true essence of it. You can really do almost anything with this watch and you can go swimming and diving with it if you really wanted to. It gets a big screwed-in crown and a screwed-in case back, but it's still thin. That's why it's a true sports watch. This is around 11 millimeters thick. You get a sapphire crystal on the front and the back because you can see the automatic movement inside. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. So this is around 41 millimeters. I would say it wears like a 42 millimeter and there are a few different reasons why. You have crown guards right here and then you have this little area that sort of sticks out on the left side of the case. This is something that Alpina do on a few of their watches. I actually have another of their watches on and I'll show you they basically do the same thing. It's a design cue. Uh, for some of their sports watches. So this is around 41 millimeters if you measure it at the bezel. So at the bezel itself, it is essentially 41 millimeters spot on. But if you take a measurement using those crowns and uh, crown guards and the uh, little sort of jut out on the left side of the case, it's around 43 millimeters. So uh, it does wear a little bit bigger than 41 millimeters. You have a giant crown on here and you see that little triangle with the dot that is essentially a mountain so alpina inspired by the alps so you have a little alp on there and that is what that is so you have a giant crown of almost eight millimeters very grippy and has a little rubber inlay in there so it's very easy to operate uh, obviously uh very very nice and then you do have molded ends on this rubber strap so the effective lug to lug is pretty large around 57 millimeters at the case itself, it's almost around 50, just about. I would say it wears like a 50 millimeter lug to lug watch. Uh, you also have the option of a bracelet. I believe the bracelet articulates pretty well, probably better than the molded end uh, strap. And I will show a picture of this watch on a bracelet. So there you go, 11.7 millimeters thick, 11.6. So about 11 and a half millimeters thick for a 200 meter sports watch with a see-through case back, sapphire crystal on the front and back, as I mentioned. So you're getting a lot of water resistance for a watch that is pretty thin. That is awesome. Uh, all in all, I really like the look of this case. I like the design of this watch. It's very angular, very masculine, and you do have that triangle motif throughout the watch. So that a triangle that you see on the crown, you also get that on the dial, that is the logo. It says Alpina right there. And then at the bottom of the dial, it says automatic. They don't put 200 meters water resistance, which is great. Uh, I like that. You have a date at the three o'clock as a little surround around that window. It takes part of that three o'clock index. I'm not in love with that, but that is fine. And then you have a texture on the dial. It is a triangle texture. So again, you're seeing that triangle. And then there are screws in the bezel. The bezel is vertically brushed and there is an edge on it that is polished. Uh, so that is sort of basically the uh, design of the case as well. It's a three part case. So you have an upper part, which is also brushed and then you have a polished edge. And then there's a middle portion that is polished and then a bottom portion that is brushed. There are screws on the back and obviously it looks like they are functional because they are uh, exactly where the screws on the front sit. Now the screws on the front have that triangle again. So there's little triangles in the screws on the front of the uh, case on the bezel. And then from the back, you have screws that line up with those. So I believe they are functional 
screws, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then of course you have a screwing case back and you can see the movement, the movement in here, the caliber AL525, essentially a Salida SW200 with a custom rotor. And I believe that it is modified slightly. That rotor is in black. It looks good against the silver background. Uh, pretty good looking movement, obviously, a Salida SW200 with a custom rotor. Uh, not that bad, but obviously also a very reliable movement. The buckle on here is a pretty big buckle. It is pretty robust. Reminds me of some other brands that I've seen around. Uh, can't put my finger on it right now, but it looks kind of similar to others. But you can see it's really nicely made uh, and pretty robust. Then you have a rubber strap on here that tapers a lot. You can see that taper is really good. The second hand on here also has a counterbalance. That counterbalance is in red. I think the only thing that this watch is missing is loom on that second hand. Uh, I believe there is no loom, but we will do a loom shot uh, and check that out. There might be a little bit of loom that I may not be seeing. You have applied indices on here. Uh, the hands are filled with loom and those indices are filled with loom. You have a chapter ring that is black. I did notice that the hands reach exactly to that chapter ring, which is excellent. And then the uh, hour hand actually reaches just the bottom of the markers, which is really good. A lot of uh, watch brands get that kind of wrong. This is perfect. They are just long enough. Um, and sometimes they're a little bit too short or I find them a little bit too short. Price on here is $1,695, which obviously is very good for a Swiss made automatic integrated bracelet watch with a textured dial and 200 meters of water resistance. You're getting a lot for your money here. Uh, I would prefer this on a bracelet because I always buy my watches on a bracelet. Uh, if there is a strap option available, that is something that I might add later on. I always go for the bracelet first uh, because I think it makes a lot more sense in my opinion, but this looks great on the strap. Like I said, $16.95 uh, and you know, uh, this is available on their website. I will put a link down to this watch in the uh, description below. Really quickly, I'm going to throw it on my wrist and then we will quickly do a loom shot and then wrap up the video. On wrist today is the Sea Strong from Alpina. This is a gorgeous watch. I love the bezel on here. I really love the strap. Everything about this watch I think is really appealing. Uh, overall, a really good looking, sort of vintage inspired dial on here. It looks phenomenal. I really love this watch. Anyway, let's throw the Extreme on my wrist. So there you go. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. This is a 41 millimeter watch at that bezel, 43 millimeters if you're including all the guards. So I would say it wears like a 42 millimeter in my opinion. And of course that lug to lug really doesn't make any difference on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's around 50 millimeters if you're measuring at the case. The thickness is amazing. Look at that, 11 and a half millimeters thick, 11.6 millimeters. It really does wear very comfortably because of that. And it looks really great on my seven and a half inch wrist. Just a very good looking watch. And like I said, sort of Genta inspired, but it has a really original design, very angular and very masculine. So very quickly, a loom shot. Well, there you go. Loom is pretty good. Brighter on the hands than on the indices, uh, but it's decently applied. I wouldn't say liberally applied, but decently applied to the indices and probably a little bit better to the hands because they are a little bit brighter. There you go. I think this is a really good looking watch and I think it's really well made. 200 meters of water resistance and that thickness at 11.5 millimeters really shouldn't be downplayed. It makes it a very comfortable watch and that is pretty rare when it comes to an integrated bracelet sports watch to have anything over 100 meters of water resistance. 120 meters I've seen, uh, that is kind of rare. 200 meters is really rare to have in an in integrated bracelet sports watch, unless it's something that is specifically a dive watch, which is a whole different genre. And usually it's a little bit thicker than, or a lot thicker than 11 and a half millimeters thick. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you in the next video.